I was always very a very driven person to um, succeed in everything. I was all about my career and being able to maintain my career even though I had children. I was very focused on um, the, the fact that I had children not interfering with my career. That didn't make me a bad mom. I was definitely balancing both pretty well. I still work. I'm pursuing a new career, um, but it's completely changed my emphasis on being successful. Successful is not, you know, rising to the top of an organization now. Success to me is doing what makes me and my family happy. I didn't ask about whether I would survive or not and how long I had to live. Um, other people did of my doctors, um, but I'm not going to let a doctor tell me how long I have to live. If someone tells you that you're not going to survive and that they can't do anything more, find someone else. Find someone that um, will be encouraging, even if they don't think that they can do anything, but they're willing to be there for you and encourage you. Um, that. I had one doctor that was so doom and gloom, and another doctor that came in and said, we're going to beat it. And I think he saved my life. I really do. I've always had an impeccable memory. In any conversation, anything, I can remember verbatim. Um, it's been a, a real issue in the family. Um, but since chemotherapy and, and radiation, I have found that um, my short-term memory has been affected by it. Um, walking, walking into the kitchen to go do something, and by the time I get there, it's gone. I, I can't remember it. Or even an object, you know, thinking, trying to think, not just people's names, because everybody forgets names, but objects simple objects that you, you know, it's part of your, your vocabulary. I have to take a little bit more time sometimes to, to think of it. It's just not right there on the tip of my tongue. And that's just something that I don't think will go away. It's not debilitating, but um, it is something that you have to accommodate for. I'm Kim Bergeron. I'm 39 years old, and I'm a brain cancer survivor.